welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome and be sure to hit that subscribe and bell notification button so that you are notified every single time that i post in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys a quick um whipped shea butter video and i added my shea butter already in here i'm just adding um, my cocoa butter i use either hard cocoa butter or the cocoa butter wafers so that's what you guys see here and then after that i'm going to add my oils and begin melting it down and um when you guys see me whip it for the first time that is when i had added my um fragrance oil into my batch i also left down in the description box how many ounces of each that i used you can use any oil of choice but if you want a shea butter that's not greasy i recommend you not use olive oil or castor oil or any heavy oils if you want it to be main light and non-greasy you want to lighter oils like jojoba oil um grapeseed oil sweet almond oil um safflower oil things of that nature and your um shea butter won't be greasy and you want to use half a teaspoon of arrowroot powder in your mixture as well and here I am just melting everything down. You want to do this on low heat because if you do it on high heat, your shea butter will become gritty. It will be the shea butter, not any other oils and um, butters that you use. It will be the shea butter because shea butter does that for whatever reason, but you want to use low heat. And another tip that I do is I let my shea butter sit on my deep freezer covered up and then I'll whip it for a few minutes. And as you can see with the KitchenAid um, bowl, it be begins to solidify and here it is solidifying. I haven't put it in the refrigerator yet and I'm whipping it on a level of two. And that's what I like about the KitchenAid because it begins processing your shea butter for you. But I do put it back in the refrigerator. Um, well, for only one time, I'll put it back in the refrigerator and then I'll whip it for a second time. I whip my shea butter for a total of three times. And that's um, this part. And this is where it came out the refrigerator. And then um, once I fold everything in, like scrape the sides and stuff, I'll whip it one more time with the fragrance oil. And in the video, you guys are gonna see what I'm talking about when I say I scrape it and fold it in. You will see the um, solidified shea butter that was unwhipped on the sides and you want to make sure everything is well blended and then i want to add um, mica you want to add little uh, mica at a time especially because mica has glitter in it some micas don't um but the ones that i have do and so i just add a little at a time so it won't be like shimmery because uh, this is for a male and um, I only use a tad bit of mica and it wasn't shimmery at all. And it smells so good, you guys, for it to be a male scent. It's like a teakwood um, fragrance. If you ever smell the teakwood candle from Bath & Body Works, it smells similar to that. And you guys, it's just amazing. And here I'm just separating everything into two bowls because I am going to try and pipe it for you guys. then after before i start to pipe it after this part i'll put it in like a container or a cup just so i could put everything in my piping bag you should get the biggest piping bags you could get because i have the smallest ones and it's so hard to pipe but thank you all so much for watching be sure to like comment and subscribe leave me down any video suggestions in the comment section and happy holidays and happy new year and i'll see you guys in my next video bye